If you have animals and cold winters where you can't graze your animals year around, you will be putting up hay in one way or another, whether it is round bales or square bales. And for us, we have found that putting up square bales is really hard as you're doing it. But in the long run, it is so much easier to feed the animals than the round bales. And so we put up a lot of square bales so that we can feed our horses and goats and cows uh, all winter with the square bales. This year, we won't be able to put up as many square bales as we had hoped. It's been a weird year with weather. It's been raining a lot and that has hindered a lot of the haying in the area and just made it different. And so we actually will be feeding a lot more round bales than normal, than we're, than we're used to. But we also are putting up all of these, the, these hay bales, as you can see here. And it gets really tough when you don't have an equipment like a self-propelled bale wagon. That is something that's a dream in the future, but right now we don't have it. But as you can see, this this elevator, this bale elevator, is a handy tool. It, it speeds up the process as we do stack the hay and it saves a lot of time and energy. But this year, because of the weather and all the wet and the rain we've been getting, we have salted our hay. And this is something that you can consider doing. It's an old timey thing that the, the old timers and the old homesteaders used to do. It doesn't take a lot of salt. As you can see, you just sprinkle it on the top a handful at a time over the top and then you start your next, uh, next stack uh, layer over that. And this will help to soak up the moisture that there is in the hay if it's gotten rained on. And this, this hay actually has gotten rained on, and which is very sad when that happens, but the weather is completely out of our control and you just can't always control what's happening with the weather. Uh, and so a lot of our hay this year has gotten rained on and we are salting it. And so if you have, uh, in, are in a similar situation where you're trying to put up hay and the weather isn't cooperating and your hay is getting wet, salt it. You can even get the younger kids to help. It is a great chore for them to do and it's something that they can do even being young. And it makes them feel important. And my dad here, this is my dad, he is 81 years old. And he is the hardest working man I know. Growing up, he can outwork anyone I know and, and others will will say that as well so it is amazing to watch him and what he can do and and really he is inspiring to our family and my kids and just his work ethic is is one that i hope to continue with um, my family myself and my kids it can be a whole adventure a whole day full of family bonding and working together and teaching kids what it is and what it takes to raise animals and the hard work that that is but how rewarding it can be in the end if you are a one-man crew uh, like Bill it sometimes is when he's putting up the, the hay and, and putting it in the stack this bale elevator is an awesome um, trick to use just like we're doing it here when you get to the end of the when you find that last bale and you have have gotten it in that stack it is so relieving and it's definitely time to celebrate as you know that 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 these bales are what keep our animals alive all winter long and it's more than worth it and as Bill says, putting up hay is like labor. <laughs> Every year you forget the pain and the torture it was, and the next year you do it again. <laughs> and each time forgetting how painful it was. But the kids enjoy it, they love it, and they, I believe, with living this life of agriculture, really are blessed and will benefit 